Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Start Stitches. I hope you are all doing okay. Um, it's very wet and windy here today. It's not very nice. I've been indoors all day. Um, so yeah, it's proper wintry. Wintry or sort of, I was gonna say autumnal afternoon really. It does feel more like autumn. It's warmed up a bit. Right, uh, waffling. Um, I, yes, I am in my pajamas. If you watched my live from a minute ago with my advent calendars, I've done some housework and then I had a shower and I was like, can't be bothered, just get my PJs and my dressing gown. Why not, eh? I'm, you know me, I like to normalise. My craft room's a tip. I have a pile of ironing. Worst things, do you know what I mean, to be worrying about? And life is for living, not for ironing. Anyway, right, now I've got off my soapbox. Um, I have um, had two deliveries come through from separate places. The One of them was not planned. Yeah, I just happened to spot on Instagram um, a post and the other one I'd kind of been keeping an eye on for a while. Um, so I'll show you that one first. So the one I've been keeping an eye on for a while, um, I do actually have somewhere on top of my Colax unit a couple of boxes of a um, little box of crochet. Now, this was run by a lady, I can't remember her name, I think Amanda, I think. Um, and it was all set up because her daughter sadly um, was ill with I think cancer rather than leukemia I'm not really sure um, but her her daughter unfortunately was poorly and passed away so she had set up this whole monthly subscription crochet box um, she's had to give it up for various rhymes and reasons um, personal personal reasons um, but uh, funnily enough a lady has taken sort of it over um, in Worthing near me um, and she has been really desperately trying to get everything sorted so that we could have a December Christmas box. And I think there's been quite a few issues along the way. Um, but she finally managed to get it sorted. And I think I was in one of the early batches because I think there was a problem with more yarn supplies. So I've got this little box of crochet for December. I have signed back up. So they've taken, they take like a month in ahead. Yeah, so my payment for in December is for January's box. So this is December's box that's arrived. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna get this done in time now, and it is a Christmas related item. So, but you know, it's fine. It's just cause I've got Toft Advent as well. So I have opened it already. So it comes all wrapped up like so. And then within my box, I have got, I'll show you what I've got. I've got a little postcard here. I have a little box, um, notebook it's just blank pages inside i'll have to make sure i put this up with a spoiler so nobody watches it just in case they haven't opened theirs they might be saving it for christmas uh two and a half mil crochet hook um we have lorette's crafts who actually i finally know about because they are if you've ever looked at my instagram and i've got a little wooden sign with my crochet items lorette's crafts did my little sign for me with my logo on so we've got some little wooden uh, stitch markers. I have to admit, I'm not too sure what this is. It's a little box of crochet. It looks like a snow globe, obviously, but it's got a hole at the top and this at the bottom. I don't know if this is to be used with what we're making. I'm not altogether sure. There might be something in the instructions. And then we have, I'll hold this up, the colours that we've got and some gold, gold thread there. So that is what we have colour wise and the pattern we have again I think is somebody who's based on the south coast I think maybe Eastbourne or Hastings way is a little stocking Christmas stocking there by Eleonora Tully it's a pattern designer you can see that that is what we are going to be making um so it's a very retro so it's Justine has taken over so she said it's a retro 1950s feel with fabulous 50 colours um so what's it say yarn and colors yeah it doesn't say that that little I'm not too sure what that is if anyone has a clue let me know what is that i mean it's probably really obvious to somebody else um but yeah so the pattern is it's like in a little book a bit like the notebook which is quite nice um so yes have a pattern for making a stocking which is apparently i think 40 centimeters uh, the finished stocking measures approximately 40 centimetres in height and 14 centimetres in width. 
you know, perfect for your Terry's chocolate oranges, your chocolate coins, um, Cadbury selection, whatever you want to go in there. Other chocolate brands are available, but if Cadbury's or Terry's chocolate orange want to send me anything, go for it. I won't say no. But that is what we've got. So, um, yeah, looking forward to having a go with that and seeing how we get on with it. Um, I do have to admit that I last the other two little boxes of crochets, little box of crochet boxes, um, I have. I haven't made yet. And I actually purchased an old one on eBay um, because it had what I wanted to make in it, which was a hot water bottle cover. So I've got that sitting behind me up here somewhere um, on the shelf to do. So definitely need to make sure this is my plan. I need to start to make sure I make these things. Right. The other item I ordered, which was on a whim, was um, after seeing an Instagram post from a company called Crafty Bird. The, predominantly, she makes pom-poms and yarn. I think more of the pom-poms. Um, I found her via Siobhan's Crafts because we got a pom-pom in the hat kit. And then when I went to Unravel, um, we saw the lady who is Crafty Bird at Unravel. So... Um, bought and some extra pom-poms and she makes the lovely ones and if you watch my unravel video you would have seen that so i have two pom-poms i purchased so this one which is like a pastel color and i've purchased them with um press studs on the bottom so obviously you can sew these onto the top of your hat and then if you need to wash your hat you just unpopper it um so i've decided to try that because i've never made a detachable pom-pom and then the other one i've got is this they're, they're similar, but they're not the same, if you see what I mean. This one's got some yellow in it. I think this is like a unicorny one, and this is more a rainbowy one. And this is a little bit more fluffy. Um, so, yeah, that one again with a press stud on the bottom. Um, so, I thought we'd try those out for hats. Almost like I want to give them a comb. There we go. Pom poms. But the actual reason as well was because I ordered this box. So, this is, um, I think it's made to be like a Christmas Eve kit keep yourself busy as if you haven't got enough to do on christmas eve <laughs> i know i'll be busy um so it's yeah make your own hat so this comes with a pom-pom as well so it's like a christmas eve box so it's in a nice little and i do like magnetic box yeah nice snap i have opened it already so if you haven't opened your crafty bird advent well christmas eve box don't look um comes in like that together um i'm gonna undo that the content so we have in here i have opened this already sorry i couldn't wait it said twas the night before christmas and all through the house only one creature was stirring a crochet waiting to pounce on their christmas eve hat box all wrapped up with care full of yarn and a pom-pom to make a hat to wear at Christmas, oh no, a Christmas bauble made just for you. Some stitch markers to make your stitches easy to view. Two patterns to pick from to give you a choice. And a stocking filled with chocolate for at Christmas we rejoice. That was there. So we have two patterns. We have got all of a whirl crochet hat pattern. If you can see that. It's got a whirl design. And then we have a ribbed crochet at pom pom pattern. I've got a funny feeling I may have purchased this one when we went to Unravel. It looks familiar. Um, so yeah, two patterns to choose from. I mean, I'd like to try the Whirl one. It's intermediate. But if my Whirls don't line up, we know I'm going to be sad. We'll see. So then we've got a tie-on pom-pom here. I'm assuming there's possibly different colours within people's kits, but this is what I've got. A nice sort of autumnally wintry brown not a colour I'd pick actually so that is good again get these surprise kits this is the thing then I have a little crochet bauble here that someone has lovingly made which is nice and it is it's got a bauble in there so that's that we have some stitch markers so we have here um traditional yarn and like knitting needles we have a candy cane if you can see that a christmas tree and a little globy these globies are very popular i have to say i wonder if they actually sit and make them or they can get them somewhere 
little globes full with i'm keep going over here sorry with some stars in there there we go then we have a little really cute crochet stocking that has a little kit kat chocolate i think a chocolate chocolate christmas pudding and a chocolate coin in there always good a bit of chocolate at christmas and then the yarn we have here is called night before christmas but she's obviously done a special color so it is sort of blues and it reminds me a bit of the van gogh starry night or van gogh starry night painting you know when it's got the blues in it there's no yellows really in here there's some brown tones um, but that is our hat colour. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. Something a bit different that I'm not, you know, wouldn't normally pick out for myself. So I'm not going to promise I'm going to make that Christmas Eve. Um, I will see how far I am with my top down bank calendar to catch up. But yeah, that is what has arrived this week. Um, as I say, yeah, I've just got Siobhan's waiting to come. It's been dispatched. Um, and I think that's it for Yarny goodies for this year. Um, yeah, I, I sort of took a bit of stock in my craft room the other week and I was a bit like, oh, I've got way too much yarn. So I definitely need to sit down and work out some projects. And I've pulled out some yarn for things like jumpers, etc. Um, and did get a, co a good couple of cardigan patterns in uh, like pre-Christmas sales that some um, pattern designers were doing. So um, we'll try and in the new year make some of those up. So... Then I've got to find room in my wardrobe for them. Right, that is me waffling. I'm going to go and get myself some dinner now. Um, hope you're all staying dry and warm on this wet and cold weekend. Um, I'll hopefully try and see you in the week for the rest of my lives for my advent. Um, and yeah, that's it. A week to go, people. Crimbo. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye.